What if I told you there was a trailer that folds up and stands up in the garage and takes very little space, but yet it can accommodate a Can Am Maverick side by side or any other UTV, three motorcycles, two ATVs, a golf cart, and a motorcycle, which I'm going to show you in this video, a riding lawnmower, or you can simply use it as a utility trailer to haul things like refrigerator, sheets of plywood, etc. Well, there is such a trailer, and I bought one for about $3,000, and I'm going to let you know if it's cool or not. Stay tuned for my full review. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. First off, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell symbol so that you get notified of my latest videos. But whatever motorcycle you're riding out there, make sure you wear the full gear to help keep you safe out there on the streets. And if you want to get my awesome gear, like my favorite helmet, like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my motovlog camera, airbag vest, and all my gear, I have links to it in the description and comment section of this video. By the way, previously I owned another folding stand-up trailer made by the same company, but it only accommodates one motorcycle. I did a full review on it, so go check that video out. I have a link to get this trailer and my new trailer in the description and comment section of this video. I sold this trailer last year for the same price I paid for it. These folding stand-up trailers, which take a very little room and keep you from getting in trouble with your HOA, they hold their value very well and are sought after. So when you buy this, you're not going to lose any money when you go to sell it. The main reason why I sold my last trailer to get this new trailer is because a new trailer can accommodate not only three motorcycles, but this bad boy, a Can Am Maverick Turbo Double R. And now that I just bought my new 20 acre property down south that has trails on it and many other trails on thousands of acres nearby, it's time to get a side-by-side -side. and I didn't want to get no big ugly stinking trailer to put on my property I wanted something that I can take to my country property and to my Ohio house which I'm still keeping but my Ohio house has an HOA which doesn't allow ugly trailers in the front yard so I go online and order this hot new folding utility trailer but instead of paying for shipping and dealing with a broken tail light like I did with the last trailer I went straight to the manufacturer's warehouse to pick this trailer up. I drove over two hours and this was a sight for sore eyes. My brand new folding utility trailer that accommodates a Can-Am Maverick Turbo Double R. Yes, I had been waiting over two months. It had been out of stock and they finally got one in. He said, you better get down here quick because it'll go fast and I got down there fast. But I stood in that warehouse that was burning hot for over an hour. They finally helped me, took it down to the loading dock. I paid them with my credit card. They hooked it up to my car and I saw a bunch of scratches and scrapes and I was highly upset. They handed me a can of spray paint and they said take it or leave it. So I took it home. Another thing I wanted to mention that really upset me is that lazy warehouse worker tightened the lug nuts with an impact wrench. Only a moron would do that and clearly goes against what the manual says to do. But anyways, I corrected the scratches and scrapes with that can of spray paint they graciously provided and that pretty much covered it up so it looks nice. I did tow the trailer home without anything on it. It was smooth riding, no issues, just like the last trailer I owned, which is really nice. Uh, when I got home, I loaded my custom 2019 YZ 450FX Supermoto, which I did a full build series on. I have a link in the description and comment section of this video. I trailered my bike from my country property to my Ohio house, which is a good 500 plus miles, 10 hour plus drive through the mountains, and it was butter smooth, zero issues. It was like I wasn't towing anything. Much better than those those shoddy U-Haul trailers, which are only good for like in the city. But long haul, you want to get something like this, man. This trailer is really nice. And it's also nice that you can do everything yourself with this trailer. You can take it off the hitch. You can roll in the garage, lift it up. Now, when you lift it up to stand it up, you do need to put like a door stop underneath it, which I got two rubber door stops from Amazon I put underneath there. And of course, you could then tie it to the wall or the ceiling just to ensure that it, it doesn't come down. I really love the two steel ramps that come with this trailer that attach to the front of the trailer and they come off and go on pretty easy and they're really easy to use yourself. 
Uh, you can put them in multiple locations on the back of the trailer. Um, I just recently loaded my golf cart and my YZ and it fit on there perfect no problems whatsoever and by the way you don't need a wheel chalk with this trailer because my last trailer had a wheel chalk and I thought I would need one on this but you don't all you got to do is roll your motorcycle up uh, to the front bar and then just strap down the, the front wheel to the front bar so that the wheel doesn't move and then of course put attach the other straps you know to the forks and then to the frame on the back and I'll tell you the bike ain't going nowhere and I also you know strapped down my uh, golf cart too and that wasn't going anywhere and I I was able to drive around with that set up and I'll tell you it was still butter smooth and it was like I wasn't trailering anything and that's a good over thousand pounds right there that I was trailering with the uh, golf cart and um, the YZ but I have to say this trailer is really awesome it's only a 530 30 pound trailer with a 2,000 pound load capacity uh, which is nice and has LED lights for the tail lights uh, which is nice multiple strap down points so, so many areas you can strap down really strong and solid on this trailer um, I like that and uh, it's very easy you know loading this trailer onto the hitch uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that my garage in Ohio I had to take the uh, the ball coupler uh, neck off of the trailer in order to get it to stand up because it was a bit uh, too tall from my ceiling but once I removed that which is really easy to remove that neck off the trailer but my pro country property has a little higher ceiling in the garage and it stood up fine no problems with that uh, neck on there another con is where the spare tire location is which goes underneath the back part of the trailer but when you fold the back part of the trailer the spare tire will be sitting up which makes it easy to install and take off but when you fold that down to load your bike uh, the spare tire will be facing the ground and the trailer already sits kind of low so that when you roll over say a speed bump or maybe uh, up a driveway like my driveway has like a little lip on the front of the driveway the spare tire will catch on there and scrape a little bit so that's something you need to keep in mind but you can always take that spare tire off and maybe install it in the front of the trailer I may or may not do that I don't know I didn't have an issue the last time I trailered my you know my YZ to my Ohio property um, I didn't really have any issues at all so I may keep it like this and if I have an issue then I'll maybe take it off and put it on the front of the trailer um, but in conclusion I have to say you get a lot of bang for your buck with this trailer and it's awesome man it's so versatile it takes very little space it's out of the way in your garage like I said you don't have any issues with your HOA your yards not looking bad um, and also it's staying fresh in the garage uh, man big thumbs up man for the price you pay it's well worth it um, I'll tell you and I like I said I have a link to this trailer in the description and comment section of this video so tell me guys leave a comment below is this a trailer that seems cool to you leave a comment below do you have any other questions you want to ask me about the trailer yeah baby guys I'm sharing the full experience with you guys that's what my channel is about man but anyways guys make sure to hit thumbs up Subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel and make sure to check out my other channel bug out moto deuce Thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where I customize a van for my motorcycle So I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere Subscribe to my YouTube channel bug out moto